All right, here is a video on my mod list. I'm going to start with animations here. I use Nexus Mod Manager for, for Fallout New Vegas. I think it's it's the oldest one, but you know, it works. So Now for older games like Fallout 4 and Special Edition, I use Vortex. But for this game, I, feel, I find that it it works perfectly so we have 360 movement 360 movement diagonal patch animated ingestibles Azura's reanimation pack B42 inspect ammo B42 weapon inertia diagonal movement faster pit boy animation New Vegas animated Neon Pole Dancer for Gamora, Player Head Tracking, Solid Project, and Weapons of the New Millennia Azura Patch. Adv and then for Armor, we have the Advanced Recon Thermal, Night Vision, and then we have Bounty Hunter Stuff Armor, Courier Ranger Armor, Elite Ranger Armor Components Accessory Pack. We have uh, Elite Ranger Overcoat Accessory, Fallout 4 Power Armor, Fallout 4 Stealth Suits, Light Desert Ranger Armor, Lucky Authority Glasses, Mama Forgives You Clean Desert Ranger Helmet, uh, Mark 117 Prototype Combat Power Armor, some modern warfare armors here NCR overwatch and new ranger armor I, I really like the way NCR ranger armor looks so I, I, I get a lot of um, alternatives to it and then here are Drag bodies armor mods that I did not install on this playthrough. I didn't. I didn't feel like I needed them like, on my own personal playthrough that I'll do. I installed them, but didn't feel like I needed it for YouTube. It's just a bunch of really cool stuff. So Ranger combat overcoat accessory, Ranger Merc helms helmet hunt, uh, Riot Joshua Graham armor, Road Fighter armor. Tamara's Nif Bash Armor Mega Pack, The Courier, Vault Tech Power Armor, and Weather Duster. Now, for bug fixes, we have this is a must have right here Fallout New Vegas Mod Limit Fix, Gun, Re Gun Runner's Kiosk Glass Fix, Infinite Loading Screen Fix. New Vegas Anti Crash, Unofficial Patch Plus NVSE, and Yup. And then for cheats and god items, we have Dead Money, No Collar, Explosion, and No Poison. This is the only way I can play Dead Money. Even though I'm doing a hardcore playthrough, I, just, I can't stand the Collar Explosion. I can deal with the gas. It's just the Collar Explosion that I, I just can't. I can't stand it. Dead Money is a good DLC with this mod. And then for Honor's Hearts, we remove the weight and companion thingy that they have. And then we have Benny's Lucky Suits, Canvas Backpacks, Desert Operator for Companions. We have BMF, Delilah, <coughs> excuse me, Delilah, Fallout 4 Robot Companion. Which is a uh, Cosworth and Kerry, follower, homemaker, JIP command and control. We have Lunette, Nick Valentine. Lunette is unticked on my playthrough. Niner, Russell, and Willow. For creatures, I don't know why I did this, but Kazaclaws, oh. Casador Queens, Mojave Creepy Crawlers, and New Vegas Feral Ghoul Children. We have, for gameplay effects and changes, we have Brighter Pip-Boy Light, Dead is Dead, Iron Man, Permadeath Mod, Permadeath Mod right here. 
Uh, we have dead money, lighter gold bars, immersive recoil, limitless stats, I Stewie AI tweaks, or L Stewie AI tweaks, Lucky 38 elevator without Victor, manual reload, which I don't need, think you need if you have Stewie tweaks because it does the same thing, but oh well. With mod limit fix, you pretty much have unlimited ESP, so. And I, and I merged a lot of stuff, so I'm good. No scanning lines for Project Nevada. Pit boy counters for rads and hardcore needs. Along with Solid Project, we use just sorted mods. Portable campsite, Project Nevada. I don't know why people are coming out and saying Project Nevada is old and outdated now. Project Nevada is a must have. It's never given me any problem. I've been playing this game for thousands of hours. Thousands of hours. Never given me one problem. Quicker pit boy light, significantly cheaper vendor repairs, skip doc missions exam, stem pack hotkey. For miscellaneous, we have a roll of pain voices, better safe houses, caps for gold, which means you can go to a workbench and exchange the gold you make from dead money or from new or from the inheritance and you can exchange it for caps. Casino exchange all flashlight N V S E. Improved healing powder and poltice, Johnny Guitar, killable children for realism only. New Vegas tick fix. I, I might. We'll see. With the character who has a vendetta against the Legion, we'll see. The Overseer Core ESM. Some guy serious. These two right here make really good quest mods. Workbench repairs, and then for models and textures, we have a lot. I'm gonna scroll down here slowly so you can get a good look at them, but it's a lot. But the main one I use is a uh, NMC, and if you don't like NMC, you can use Ojo Bueno or Poco Bueno, whatever it's called. We also use uh, Monster Mod as another creature mod here. Alright, for new lands, we use a roll of pain, checkpoint Gary. We use for NPCs, we use N NPC overhaul, boomers go boom, brotherhood reforge, drags cast replacer. We use fallout character overhaul, powder is the new black, NCR overhaul, gun runners actually run guns, the living desert, the legion will rise, and fiend and raider overhaul. For Cook Cook and the rest of his gang. And then for perks, we pretty much got every perk mod on the Nexus and then combined them into one ESP. But here's the fun stuff. If we can actually make it this far in the playthrough, we have quests and adventures Autumn Leaves, Cabot Quest, Curtis, Munitions, Darkwood Falls, Dimos, Elisa, Forty Enclave, Headhunter. Head hunting, King of the Ring, Mike Burnfire's NPCs and Quest, New Vegas Bounties 1, 2, and 3, uh, New Vegas Bounty Boards, New Vegas Killer, Standalone, Point Lookout, Saxton's Quest Collections, The Better Angels, yes, I, I do have the Fallout 3 DLCs. Without Tales of Two Wastelands, they've been ported over. I found it on a, a Russian modding site. It's it's great. They work perfect. We have the Better Angels, the Collector, Curious Cash, Deaths of Depravity, the High Desert, the Initiation, New Bison Steve Hotel, and Lucky Casino, the North Road, the Pit, World of Secrets, and Mothership Zeta. We have uh, Delilah's alternate voice pack, Fallout 4, New Vegas main theme replacer, mobile truck base, and the old western UI sounds. And then we have some extra stuff here like Dead Money Horror Overhaul and Drag's Little Things are the most notable things in the. We also have underground hideout 
Here's my user interfaces. I couldn't get cell to work for whatever reason, but everything else here is fine. Mod configuration menu, one HUD, Darnified UI, item browser, JIP minimap. And then for weapons, I have a ton. I will scroll slowly here so you can get a good look at them, but it is a lot. And that is my mod list.